Oh man, when uh, when is the new year? January 1st, right? That's what we learned, right? That the new year is January 1st. You know that January 1st, you worshiping another god? Bring it out. Called the god of the god of uh, Janus. The god of uh, beginning and ends. That's why you always, that's why on January the 1st, we always have a um, New Year's resolution. Right. Because the god Janus, which came from Rome, which is a Roman god, okay, he, um, he represented beginning and end, so that's why he represented a new future. Right. So that's where the New Year's resolution whole thing came from, all right? But that's not our New Year. From Janus is where we get the word January, for it became the first month of the calendar. Janus was highly honored on New Year's Day, but also at the beginning of each day, each month, and several other special dates throughout the year. Our modern concept of the old man of the past year and the new baby of the coming year likely comes from Janus's two faces. Why, why do you say January 1st is our new year? You know, I understand that that's, that's just what's always celebrated on January. See that? Do you see, you see that? That's what we always celebrated. Right. Our people, we follow the traditions, give me uh, Colossians 2 and 8. Bring it out. Give me Colossians 2 and 8. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Bring it out. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So the Bible says, Beware lest any man destroy you through philosophy and vain deceit. Read on. After the tradition of men. So New Year's Eve is after the tradition of men. Right. Um, the Roman Emperor Julius Caesar. Um, he actually started New Year's Eve. He actually started that. Worshiping the God uh, called Janus. All right? Hey, pull that up on your Wikipedia real quick. Yeah, Janus. Real quick, real quick. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead, uh, pull that up. Read that again. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Through philosophy, philosophy. Christmas is a philosophy. Uh, New Year's what? New Year's Day is a philosophy. New Year's Eve, Easter, Valentine's Day, all this stuff is philosophy after the tradition of men. Okay. Mother, yeah, Mother's Day is coming up. Mother's Day, Father's Day, all that tradition of men. Your birthday also, right? Your birthday also. Okay, read on. And vain deceit after the traditions of men. Go to January first on uh, Wikipedia. After January the first. rudiments of the world uh -huh. and not after Christ. After the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. Because why? Those philosophies they ain't got nothing to do with this Bible, man. Right. right. We just follow it. Like you just said, you like, yo, I, that's the way I, I that's what that's what we always celebrated. Right. It was traditional. We all we understood that. You got it? Yeah. Let me see that. Read that. January 1st. January 1st is the first day of the new year in the Gregorian calendar. Uh-huh. There are 364 days remaining until the end of the year. For New Year's Day. New Year's Day. One second, bro. One second. But so what we're showing you is that January 1st is not the new year. Right. January 1st is, is when, what season is, what, what season is January 1st? What season is that? That's winter. It's cold as hell. Why the hell will we be celebrating a New Year's in the dead of winter? Bring it out. Does that make sense? Everything dead. Life is, everything is dead, man. Plants, trees, it's dead. Snowing, blizzards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your mood, yeah, your mood, your mood is, is off during that time because it's so damn cold. But yet you walk outside in the frigid cold and say, yo, happy New Year's and to watch a ball drop in the dead of winter. All right, it don't make sense. So what we are gonna show you is the history on that. You got it? Let me see that. Yeah, this might be it. Yeah, yeah, this is it right here, let me see. I'm gonna go down, one second, one second. Yeah. Read. You can start here. Start here. And then go down. New Year's Day. Listen good. Also simply called New Year's or the New Year's is observed on the 1st of January, the first day of the year on the modern Gregorian calendar. Which is today. Go ahead. That's the calendar we go by today. Go ahead. As well 
as the Julian calendar. The Julian ca calendar was during Roman Empire. That started. That was started by Julian Caesar. Hence the Julian calendar. Go ahead. Whilst most solar calendars begin the year regularly at or near the northern winter solstice. 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 Read on. The start of the new year in cultures that observe the lunar solar or lunar calendar, such as the Chinese New Year and Islamic New Year. Right. Now watch this. Go down. History. Go to history. Watch this. History. The ancient Babylonian calendar was lunar solar and around the year 2000 BC uh -huh. began observing the spring festival and the new year during the moon of Nisan. Around so this is during ancient times. This is how we celebrate. This is when the new year was uh, before Esau took power. Go ahead. Around the vernal equinox. Read. In mid-March. And where? In mid-March. So we always knew the new year was in mid-March. Right. right. It was never during the January the 1st in the dead of winter. Bring it up. We knew it was mid-March. All the nations knew that. Right. And I'm going to show you where they got it from. Go ahead. The early Roman calendar designated March 1st as the first day of the year. You see that? They designated March 1st as the new at the beginning of the new year. So where the hell did January 1st come from? Read on. The calendar had just 10 months. Wait, 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 oh, oh, oh. the calendar had just 10 months. Read. Beginning with March. That Beginning with March, and we're gonna show you where all of this came from. It came from the Bible. Go ahead. That the new year once began with the month of March. So, look, ancient time, we knew that the new year began with the month of March. Bring it out. Read. It's still reflected in some of the names of the month. Watch this. This is heavy. Watch. Read on. September through to December, the ninth through the twelfth months of the Gregorian calendar. Read. Were originally positioned at the seventh, though the tenth month. Read. Septon. L listen good. Septon, which is September, Yo. represents what? In Latin, for seven. For seven. September is actually the seventh month. Yes. They still know that. Over here in this bubble called America, Yo. we say it's the what month? Like like the ninth. ninth. We said, we said, why? Now, why is that? Because they added these demons added an extra two months, which is January and February, which are representing Roman gods. So they added those extra ten months. Now, guess what? September, we know it's the seventh month, but we're gonna push it back and make it ninth now. But we going because we wanna fit in our idols, we gonna make it the, the ninth month. So we gonna we gonna add in January to fit our god Janus, and we gonna say that's gonna be the beginning of the new year. But we knew that was we knew that wasn't the case. We, I mean, we knew that we knew when the uh, new year started. Go ahead, read. Octo. 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 What do octo mean? Oh, eight. Eight. Read. Octo eight. November. So September is the uh, seventh month. Octo. Octo means eight. An octagon has eight sides. That's what octo means. So we knew that Oct October was the eighth month. Read. Right. November. November. Go ahead. Nine. The November is supposed to be the ninth month, man. Read. And Decum. Nueve. Yeah, like, right. Nueve. Nine. In Spanish. Go ahead. And Decum. Ten. And what? Decim. Ten. Yeah, decim means ten. A decimal, that means, deci means ten. Right. Okay. Decade. decade, right? You got decade. That means ten. So we knew that December was the tenth month. Bring it Read on. Is there any more? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Roman legend usually credited their second king, Noma, with establishment of the two new months. See the two new months. What, what are the two new months now? Read. Lanurus. What's it? January. Go ahead. And February. And February. Those are your two new months now. That's been added. That's going to push back the uh, other months out of their respective uh, position or where, yeah, order. Go ahead. All right, now, give me, um, we got the Bible dictionary. Give me Deuteronomy 16 and 1. That one want to go, or Exodus 12 and 2. Deuteronomy 16 and 1, watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 16 and verse 1. Observe the month 
of a day. So now God says, this is out of the Bible, for the Israelites. You consider yourself an Israelite, right? For what tribe? Judah. That's right. Judah. Say it loud, brother. Judah. 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 That's right. Judah. 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 All right, read that. Watch this. This is for you. Read. No, no, no. Go back. We want the Bible first. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta set everything up. Get out. Set the stage. the month of a day. So God says to the Israelites, the twelve tribes of Israel in this sign here, to observe the month of a bed. Read. And keep the Passover. And keep the Passover. So after the month of a bed, within that month there will be the Passover. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Uh huh. For in the month of a bed. For in the month of a bed, read. The Lord thy God brought thee forth out of Egypt thy night. Right. So God delivered us from Egypt in the month of a bed, which became our Passover, which became the Israelites' Passover. Blacks and Hispanics. Passover, Passover again. Yes. Me chilly with my brethren. Next. Pass the 11 and wine. Wine. Cause we both to have a good time. Now. Let's see what is the month of a bib. Go to uh, Exodus 12 and 2. Read that. Exodus chapter 12 and verse 2. Read. How you doing, brother? This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. You hear that? The month of a bib is going to be the what? The beginning of months. What's that called? March. No. It, okay, it is It is around March, but he said the month of a bib is going to begin. There's going to be the beginning of your... Read again. This month shall be unto you. So this month, the month of a bib shall be what? Shall be unto you. Unto you, what? The beginning of months. The beginning of the other months. So what's that called? Go ahead. It shall be the first month of the year to you. So what's that called now? The Bible just said it. It shall be the first month of the year to you, which is what? Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. No. You said March. The month of, right, it's, it is in March. We're going to get that. But he said a month of a bib should be, get, should be the beginning of the uh, the, first, the month unto you. It should be the first month of the year unto you. So what's the answer? New year. Yeah. <laughs> That's your new year. Right. Bring it out. That's what I'm trying to get. That's your new year. Right. Read it again for him. This month shall be unto you. The beginning of months. So any month that's be the beginning of other other months, read. It shall be the first month of the year to you. So it, that should be the first month of the year. Just like Esau said, the, the so-called white man said that January was the first month of the year to us. No, God is saying a bib is the beginning of all our months. Right. That's what we're showing you. Meaning what? Um, this a bid will become your new year. That's when you celebrate New Year's. Right. Not in the dead of winter. Not in January. Now let's get what a bib is, so you get we get some understanding what they mean. Oh. When is that new year? Read. This is the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Uh huh. A bid. The pre. The pre-exile name for the, the, the pre-exilic. The pre-exilic name for the first month of the year. You see that, which is New Year's. Read. Exodus 13 and 4, 22 and 13, uh -huh. 34 and 18. Read. After the exilic, the name was changed to Nisan. So the name was changed to Nisan. Read on. It fell about the time of our March and early April. So the beginning of our bid fell about March, early April, around that time. Now, when we know when it fell around March, early April, we how do we know that it's around? How do we know when a bib is? So it says a March, early April. Then give a, a definite that it could uh, that it was March or that it was April. It said it fell about that time, but how do we know that? Okay, give me the uh, give me um, Sirach. Yeah, about the moon. Sirach 43, real quick. Have you heard of the new moon? Have you heard of that? I've heard of it, but if you're asking me to speak on it, I don't have nothing. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, you, but you heard of it? Yeah, but I don't know. Okay, cool. So the new moon is also the full moon. Okay. So it, it's, a, it's, it's a significant, it's significant, it represents something. So it's what we're going to show you, bro, we're going to show you. Go ahead. So Rock, chapter 43 and verse 6. He made the moon also to serve in her seasons. So God made the moon to serve in her seasons. Understand, the moon ain't just sitting up there, this lollygagging. Now the moon has a purpose. It has a purpose. 
Right? Go ahead. For a declaration of time. So the moon is for a declaration of time. Go ahead. And a sign of the world. And a sign of the world. Read. From the moon. From the moon. Read. Is the sign of feast. From the moon is the sign of feast. Why? Because we have the Passover. We have our uh, high holy days. Right. They are called feast days. Right. We have the Passover. We have um, feast of dedication. Okay. We have also um, the tabernacles, Pentecost. We have um, it's another one. memorial blowing the trumpets. We have Purim. So we have our own feast days now. But from the moon is when we're gonna be able to tell when those feast days are. That's heavy. When you look at the moon, you will see like, okay, we got a, a new month coming up. There's a feast day coming up. All right. Go ahead. From the moon is the sign of feast. From the moon is the sign of feast. Go ahead. A light that decreases in her perfection. So when the Bible says the moon is a light that decreases, meaning what? There's a cycle. You, 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 you look at, have you looked at the moon? <laughs> right. So when you look at the moon, you see it goes to a half moon. It goes to a full moon. It goes to a quarter moon. That's what the Bible is called. It's a cycle that the moon goes through. That's what the Bible is explaining. Read it again. From the moon is the sign of feast. Uh -huh. A light that decreases in a perfection. So when it decreases, when you look at you can look it up yourself. The moon, when it decreases, is called the waning stages. It's called the waning stages when you look it up. Okay, we ain't just talking out of our behind. The moon, when it decreases, is called the waning stage. Read. The month is called after her name. The month. The month is called after the name of uh, moon. So the word month comes from moon. That's where you get the word month from. Moon. Right? Read. Increasing wonderfully. So now he says, now the moon increases wonder wonderfully. So when you go and look at the moon, you see it increasing. It's starting to get brighter and brighter. It goes from uh, a quarter moon to a half moon. So eventually it goes to a full moon. That's called the waxing stage because it's waxing means it's growing. All right, go ahead. And it's increasing wonderfully and they're changing. Right, because it, it always changes, right, Reed? Being an instrument of the armies above. Right, being an instrument of the armies above, read on. Shining in the firmament of heaven. Now, how do we know when the uh, a bib is? It says beginning, it says between March and early April. How do we know that? How do we know that? That's what it said. The moon. Yeah. So what what would the moon have to be for us to know? Because remember, remember, it's, remember it said the Bible says the moon is the sign of feast. It's the signs of uh, all the ho our holidays out of the Bible. So in order to tell when the next month is coming, or in order to tell when the next feast day is coming, we will have to look up at the moon. In order to look up at the moon, it has to be what? My man, what, what would the moon have to be in order for us to see it and understand when? Okay, what's that called? A full moon. That's right. It would have to be a full moon, have to be bright. Understand it. So when we see a full moon, which is called the new moon, it's going to be bright in the sky. That's when we know when when that when we see that full moon, that's called a new moon. That's the begin. That's a new month. That's what I'm trying to show you. So the moon has a significant. It's significant. It has a purpose. Right. And it's for us. That's right. Understand that. That's right. So when you look up at the moon, that's how you will be able to tell when March, early April. That's when you're beginning of your new year. So that could, uh, so that new moon could fall somewhere between March, or it could fa fall somewhere between early April. But once you see that moon around March, early April, that's your new year. Right. That's your new year now. Check it out. We used to scream Black Power while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.